And tonight, ABC 27's Micah Cho is getting a closer look at how hospitals are dealing with the avid added COVID-19 patients. In addition to a plea to get more people vaccinated, Tallahassee Memorial Healthcare is going through major changes to meet the high demand for care when it comes to the virus. The hospital is now asking health professionals in leadership roles at the hospital, those who work in places like clinics or even teach to go to bedside care, becoming some of those frontline workers treating COVID-19 patients. The move is being made to help relieve some of the stress brought onto the hospital by the increase in COVID-19 patients. Of the hospital's 70 COVID-19 patients right now, 12 are in the ICU. Tonight, hospital leaders are asking everyone who can get the vaccine to get the vaccine. Dr. Dean Wasson talked today about the importance it plays in helping stop the spread. Of all of the patients that we have in the hospital, uh, only four have been vaccinated. Again, reiterating that this is a, uh, a unvaccinated pandemic, uh, most of this uh, can or could have been prevented. The hospital's COVID-19 wing can only hold 35 patients. Two other sections of the hospital have been open to treat the excess in patients. In Tallahassee, Micah Cho for ABC 27. Thank you, Micah. To help meet the COVID-19 patient demands, the hospital has suspended elective procedures until August 6th. That's an extension from the original July 31st date.